Hey, it's Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. Wanted to go over the mini split workflow. It's sort of a new workflow for MeasureQuick. There's some pretty substantial changes to the probe configuration and the UI, but it's, it's really simple to use. And if you do it right, it'll, it'll take longer for the mini split to stabilize than it will to do the project. So the first thing, mini splits, they have a lot of different modes in them and we never know how they're rated. So the best thing to do is just set the unit to on, turn the temperature down to like 67, 66 degrees so it's running all the time and uh, just set it on sweep and let the fan speed do whatever it wants to do. You don't want to run it on high fan necessarily. You don't want to run it on turbo mode. You want to sort of let it run the way that it was designed to run. Now, ton of plastic on mini splits so it can make pro placement a little bit challenging. Return air probe, obviously we can just set it on the top because it's, uh, it's going to you know, just sit on the top of it. For the supply air probe, what I did on mine is I have a little uh, binder clip on here I just zip tied on. So that way I can put the probe up into the supply and it'll clip onto the grill and we won't have any problems. So again, return air probe on the top of the machine, just where you're going to get the, uh, a good sampling of the air coming back in. And then for the supply air probe, I'm just going to reach in here and clip this on to the plastic. So now that'll hold up in there. I want to make sure this probe is positioned up inside the mini split. And this will just do its sweep and do whatever it's going to do. But you want to make sure the probe, the back of the probe is not going to hit the, uh, hit the mini split on here. All right, so while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to set up the, the workflow. I'm going to use the ICF workflow. Just um, They have some programs running. I can demonstrate that mass saves at the same time. We'll go ahead and start this blank. Project details are just details about the project, but this is where we're going to select a mini split. So we'll say this is a startup for a mini split and just select that. And then we can put in here, you know, a inverter system if we want to put any notes in there. And then job site is the physical building we're in. And in this case here, I could fill this inside or outside, but I'll go ahead and fill it in here since it's nice and comfortable. Oops, yes. And before we go too far here, And we'll just get this in. And the address is pre-populated. You do want to make sure that your toolbox, that your probes are activated. So I have mine activated, low pressure, suction line, supply, return air, and outdoor air. And you want to do this so that the system, uh, the probes are stabilizing while you're making your measurements, right? So back into the project. And then um, I'm going to skip building utility information for a minute. And I'm going to go into the profile here. And while I'm inside, I'm going to grab my air handler uh, information. So this is a uh, thermal zone. And then the, the model number here. This is a 9H49YIMI. 9H49. Y, I, oops, shoot, got a typo there. 9, H, 4, 9, Y, I, M, I. And then this one has a, uh, a barcode for the serial number, so we'll just go ahead and scan that. That'll save us a lot of typing. And we'll just go ahead and get a photo of that while we're in here. I want to make sure your photos are crisp and that you can see the models and serial numbers on those. So now I've got the indoor and my, I'll give my outdoor the same here, so I'll get that in just a second. So again, get all your information you can get inside and then we can get the rest of this stuff outside. So we'll walk out here. So one thing on a mini split to remember, obviously we have a low pressure probe and uh, you can get this connector. This is a 5 16 uh, core depressor. You can get these from AccuTools. These are a you know, uh, not only a few bucks, but it's got three bands on here, which tells us 5 16 When you drive this in, it depresses the Schrader so we can read pressure here. We've got a suction line clamp, and it's on the larger line. This is a suction. This is not a liquid line on a mini split. This is a saturated liquid line. So it's cold piping going out and cold piping coming back. This is the metering device is inside the bottom of the condensing unit. So. You only have a suction line. Don't worry about measuring on the small line. It's not a liquid line, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter. There's no prescribed temperatures for these. So we're going to measure a suction line temperature, suction pressure, 
here we've got outdoor air, and then we're going to be measuring the voltage on the uh, incoming power on the, on the meter. So that's all there is to it for setting up. Um, when you get up to the, so if we go back here in a project, we're still on the job site. So now we can get our, our building information here. So we'll just con continue the rest of the project now like we're doing the rest of it from scratch. We got 700 square foot, 1987, and then utility information. And I'm gonna just put test in here just so they know it's a test. Meter IDs, let's go over here for just a minute. On your electrical meter, a lot of times you're gonna have a barcode also on the meter and this will bring in the, all the information about the meter. So we'll get lined up on that and just get the barcode reading. Again, save you from typing on there. Select your, your utility you're working with and hit continue. So now equipment information. So now this pin's a little different. This pin, I wanna mark the physical location of the equipment. So if this equipment's on the side of the building here, that's gonna mark it. This circle right here is supposedly where I'm standing, but I'm on Wi-Fi here. You can see what section you, have, you haven't completed yet, so I don't have my profile yet. So let's go back over here and we'll get that. So my heating system here, it is a heat pump. My primary heating is electric. My customer type is electric. Indoor air handler type is ECM. Not critical that you nail that, but if you know, put it in there. It's a 9,000 BTU unit. And we'll just leave this, it does have a TXV, electronic TXV, so we'll leave those settings on there as is. Electrical information, the condensing unit is single phase. It's 115, single phase, 115, and we'll hit continue and continue. Let me check one more thing on the profile here real quick. Okay, uh, there's a spot here for rated EER and HSPF. So this is a, a 19 and a 10 on that. I thought those were there, I just missed those fields. So we'll hit correct and continue. All right, so now all that's left to do is my tasks. So I'm gonna do a test in here. You can see my data streaming in. I just gotta get electrical here. So I'm gonna go on, hit back, and I'm gonna energize my meter. So this meter's running. I'm pulling about 1,000 watts right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the project, go to electrical readings. You notice I only have to take one set of readings. So I'll hit capture here because a mini split, the indoor heads are fed by the outdoor unit, so we don't have to measure the heads independently. So that's good to go. Hit continue. If I want to review anything here, I can see I got a green flag, so this is running well. Uh, superheat on these can run really low. A lot of times it'll run zero, close to zero to one, two degrees. That's okay. Uh, you can see the suction pressure is a little on the low side. Don't sweat it. Again, these all run a little bit differently, but we're just trying to make sure things are in the ballpark and it's running uh, to its, its efficiency and capacity. That meter just shut off, that's all that is right there. If I tap on this, you, know, you can see our, our 13 ear, 14, 14.9 uh, 14 sear. So again, we're not exactly at load conditions, but it's running, it's running fine, we got the green flag, we're good to go on that. So I'm gonna go back in the project, I'm gonna save the data. And once it's saved here, I can either view it or dismiss. I'm gonna hit view for a second. And you'll see you got two green flags in your diagnostic, your subsystem review. We'll hit share, export PDF, and we'll just generate this. You will notice that you're gonna be missing things like a high pressure reading and a liquid line, discharge line, because those aren't on this type of a system. So there are a bridge set of readings on there. You will have a couple NAs on your subsystem review and any photos that you took on here of the equipment. So we hit done there, we hit back. Now on this particular test here, this was a I, uh, a new installation, so I don't really need to do like a test in and test out. So I'm gonna hit skip those measurements. I'll save the data. And then all the data is in. I'm just gonna hit dismiss, hit continue. And then down at the bottom here, there's a button that says submit to mass save. So this is gonna, uh, you wanna make sure you have all green uh, check marks on there. That means everything's in, your tasks are done. You hit sub submit, yes. It's gonna submit the data. You'll get a confirmation submitted, hit okay. Then you want to hit exit, and you always want to exit and sync to cloud. So syncing to cloud is going to store that to the Measure Quick cloud and allow you to access it through Virtuoso if you need to pull it back down again. And that's all there is to it. It's a, it's a nice, short, compact workflow. If you do it right, it'll take, a, like I said, a longer for the system to stabilize and it will to get the measurements. This whole project took us about 10, 12 minutes to do, I think, and we're done. So if you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the video below. This is Jim with Measure Quick. Thanks a lot for watching. Hello.
and welcome to the mini split workflow. <laughs> All right, so first of all, first thing. <laughs> there was no gap there. What? <laughs> you had no gap. There's no way I could edit that. <laughs> I wanted it in there. You wanted that in there? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> the mini split nightmare. It's mode. the mini split nightmare mode. <laughs> all, right. all right, I'm sorry. You ready? Yeah. Make sure you zoom in on this remote a little bit and that kind of stuff. We're doing this. Looks good. <laughs> ready?